Hey, true believers, this is Dr. T, and welcome to my comic book channel. Today, we're going to take a look at the top 50 books in my collection. Stay tuned. First, don't forget to press the like button and subscribe to the channel. And if you're really enjoying today's content, press that notification bell. So let's get into it and start with the first 10 books. Here we have Marvel Superheroes Secret Wars number 4 from 1984. Love that cover. Hero for Hire number 1, first appearance of Luke Cage in a 6.5. Notice the shirt, Luke Cage. Submariner number one, 1968, 6.0. I have other DC books, but I thought I would show this one. This is Showcase number 37, the first appearance of The Metal Men, 1962. Alpha Flight number one from 1983. And a 9.8. Crispy, crispy copy. This is a more recent pickup. Hulk, number one. From 2008, the first appearance of Red Hulk and a 9.8. I, I got this Desert Wind Comics uh, variant cover, uh, particularly because of the, the signatures from... Herb Trimpey, uh, the 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 artist of the of the cover here, and and Charles Soule who wrote the story. Nice nine point eight. Here's a copy of Masters of the Universe number one from Marvel, and Star Comics as it says on the cover from nineteen eighty six and a nine point eight. It's a great copy. Here's a copy of The Thing, number one in a 9.8, off-white to white pages, from 1983. Love The Thing, so I have to have this one. And this is my, my dad's favorite comic book of all time, Marvel 2-in-1 Annual, number seven. This is the last issue in that series of Marvel 2-in-1, and this is the first appearance of the champion, Tycho Slateris from 1982. This is a fun story and a beautiful cover. And here's the next stack of 10. Amazing Spider-Man number 17 in a, a 4.5 grade white pages from 1964. Love that cover. Here's the first appearance of Rhino. Amazing Spider-Man number 41 in a 7.5. Beautiful book. I especially love this Spider-Man cover by Neil Adams, and I have the copy that's signed by both Stan Lee here and, and Neil Adams. Uh, this was just released in, in 2014, but love, to have the, love having this in the collection. A little closer there. This is Sergeant Fury and his Howling Commandos, number 13. This is the story where Captain America meets Nick Fury for the first time. Captain America, annual number 8, a classic Cap and Wolverine cover from 1986. This is an especially crispy 9.8 copy. Here is Captain America number 34 from 2008. There are two covers that exist. This is one of them. The Alex Ross is the other cover. And this is where Bucky becomes the new Captain America. This is the Phantom Variant cover for Captain America number 1 from 2013. And you'll see why I have this copy. Because this book... 
goes with this book, Captain America number one from 2011, cap, cap coming out of that newspaper. So I have both, both of these to go with this book. Captain America 109, signed by Stan Lee. Look at that placement. My dad and I were together at uh, San Diego Comic Con in 2012 and got Stan to sign this in person. So this book has a lot of sentimental value. And so these three books go beautifully together with Cap just popping right out of that newspaper. This one will, will never leave my collection. And here we have... Captain America number six from 2005, the first appearance of the Winter Soldier with Chris Evans' signature right here in the middle of the book. Hard to see, but you can see some of it right here. So you have Captain America number six signed by Chris Evans. Love that I have this copy. I have one more Captain America book to show you. It's a biggie. It's a major, major Silver Age key. You probably know which one it is. Of course, it has the purple label, but that's all right. This is Avengers number four, first Silver Age appearance of Captain America and a 4.5. But the caveat for me is that this book comes with white pages. And typically, it is very difficult to find this book with white pages. And I love that it has that new page quality. But this book also... Also signed, signed by Stan Lee. It's a beautiful copy regardless of the, of the purple label. And here we get into some Wolverine books. This is Wolverine number 66, the first appearance of Old Man Logan. And it does have a wraparound cover there. One of my favorite uh, story arcs in, in Marvel Comics history right here. And then here we have the variant sketch cover of Wolverine number 66, first appearance of Old Man Logan. Hard, hard, book, hard book to come by in a 9.8. Here we have in a 9.8, Wolverine, the origin number one from 2001. I remember when this book came out, you just frantically trying to get it. It was a hot item at the time as we learned that James Howlett was, in fact, Logan and his upbringing. I have all all six in a CGC 9.8 of this book. They're not worth very much, but uh, if you're a Wolverine fan, these seem to be, for me, there must have books that tell that, that origin story of one of the most important characters in Marvel Comics. Here is X-Men number 25 from 1993 when Magneto rips out the adamantium from Wolverine's body. Love this book. I have a copy also of the gold variant and the, the partial sketch variant that need to go off to CGC soon. And I'll be showing those in, in another video in the, in the coming weeks. Here's Wolverine number one from 1988 in a 9.8 with the great uh, pinup on the back by John John Byrne. Love this book. So glad to have it in the collection, especially now since it's it's over $500 to get a copy of this book now. So great, grateful to have it in the collection. Here's Wolverine number eight from his own series from 1989. Joe Fixit and Patch together on the cover. Great classic Wolvie and, Wolvie and Hulk cover. Here's Wolverine number 27 with a Jim Lee cover and a 9.8. Great action-packed Wolverine cover. Here's Uncanny X-Men number 268. Look at that. That's a beautiful cover. This book is nice and sharp, nice and crispy. And then here's a big Wolverine key. Hulk, Incredible Hulk number 340. And a 9.6 signed by Stan Lee right there in, the, in, a, in a perfect location. So now the next stack of 10. This is book 31 here. This is the Mighty Thor number 390 where Captain America wields Mjolnir for the first time. Got to have this book if you're a Cap fan. In a nice 9.8. 
Here is the second appearance of Beta Ray Bill, the Mighty Thor, number 338. Love that uh, cover, cover, cover swipe from Thor 126, which I also have in the collection. Beautiful copy. And if you have that, that means you gotta have this. Thor number 337, first appearance of Beta Ray Bill. Also picked this book up several years ago when it was a lot less pricey. Now we have some X-Men books. This is X-Men number 13. This is the earliest X-Men copy that I have. Second appearance of the Juggernaut in a 4.5 with white pages from 1965. Here is X-Men number 95, third appearance. Don't have 94 and don't have giant size one. First appear third appearance of the new X-Men team, and Thunderbird dies in this in this comic in a nice 8.5 with off-white pages. Here's a great Sentinel cover. X-Men number 99 and a 9.2 from 1976. Uncanny X-Men number 129 from 1979 in a 9.2. Off-white to white pages. First full appearance of Alpha Flight. And here's a spicy book. X-Men number 129 in a 9.4 with white pages. First appearance of Kitty Pride and the White Queen Emma Frost. And also Sebastian Shaw. This is the start of the of the, the Dark Phoenix story arc. Love having this book. Here is X-Men number 130, the first appearance of Dazzler in a 9.4 with white pages. And this book has recently just shot up in value. X-Men number 133 in a 9.6 with white pages. Just a classic, classic Wolverine cover. Continuing, continuing with some more X-Men. Here's X-Men number 137, Death of Phoenix. Always loved that cover since I was a kid. The Peril, The Peril. And 9.6 white pages. Here's X-Men number 141. The first part of the Days of Future Past story, signed by Stanley. I had sent this book to get signed also a number of years ago by by Chris Claremont as well. They were not able to secure his signature. At some point, I'm going to have to send this in to add uh, Claremont's signature on the book as well. In a 9.6 white pages. X-Men number 142, second part of Days of Future Past, and a 9.6 with white pages. X-Men number 213, wonderful Sabretooth and Wolverine cover, 9.8 white pages. Now we have some Fantastic Four. This is Fantastic Four, number three in a 4.0, cream to off-white pages, Fast and Fantastic Four, Dawn costumes and established headquarters, first appearance of Miracle Man, and this is also the UK edition, see that nine pence right there. Fantastic Four number 13, the first appearance of the Red Ghost, but more importantly, the Watcher. And a 3.5 cream to off-white pages from 1963. And I love that it also says, full page ad for Tales of Suspense number 39 and Amazing Spider-Man number 1. Fantastic Four number 18, first appearance of the Super Scroll. 3.5 off-white pages from 1963. Now it's restored, but Fantastic Four, number 50, 4.5 off-white pages, only has a small amount of color touch on the cover. So I have this book because if you have the other two, you got to have this one. So Fantastic Four, number 49, First full appearance of Galactus, second appearance of the Silver Surfer, 5.0, 
white pages. Also a very hard book to find with white pages. And then number 50, the final book, Fantastic Four. Number 48, first appearance of the Silver Surfer with a cameo appearance of Galactus on the last page. 4.0, off-white, excuse me, off-white to white pages. Beautiful book. That's all for this video of my top 50 comics. And remember, comics for life.